Assalamu alaikum my dear students uh, hope you all are fine mm, today i'll deliver a lecture on the topic deforestation causes and consequences which i have chosen uh, from the chapter conservation of plants and animals from the textbook of uh, science class 8 uh, so first of all i'll define uh, conservation as conservation uh, can be defined as process of keeping and protecting anything from damage but my dear students you all know that in this chapter we are concerned with the conservation of plants and animals so we'll define conservation as it is process of keeping and protecting plants and animals from any kind of a damage here a question arises that what kind of damage are the plants and animals suffering from or what kind of damage are they facing so the main damage which the plants and animals are facing is deforestation so the next one is deforestation i'll define deforestation as Cutting of trees on a very large scale or clearing of forests over a wide area. Mm, fine, cutting of trees on a very large scale or in other words we can say that the ruthless cutting down of the trees. Um, and uh, we all know that deforestation has many ca causes. So I'll explain to you the causes of the deforestation. Uh, if we explain the causes of deforestation, they are broadly categorized in two categories. One is man-made and one is natural. Coming to the man-made causes of the deforestation, the first one is obtaining fuel uh, or firewood. The first cause of the deforestation is obtaining fuel or firewood. My dear students, we all know that many of the people, they are living in the remote areas, which do not have access to the electricity or to the LPG or to the um, new sources of uh, uh, um, for new sources um, for uh, cooking and all. So those people they are dependent on the foresters for getting the uh, uh, getting the wood which they use for cooking and for heating purposes. So that becomes the main cause for the deforestation. And the first one, the first and the foremost cause for the deforestation, obtaining wood for the fuel or firewood. Fine, coming to the next one, that is we bring more and more area under agricultural land. And why do we bring more and more area under agricultural land? It is all because um, day by day the population of the world and if you talk about our own country, the population of the country is also increasing. So in order to feed that large, uh, huge crowd of population, huge crowd, we have to um, you know, feed more and more people and we also have to provide employment to these all. Fine. In order to feed these people, we have to bring more and more area under agricultural purposes. We have to grow more and more agricultural crops um, so that we can feed these people. So that is another cause um, because of which we go for the deforestation. Coming to the third one, building of factories, houses, roads, etc. Um, fine. And like I told you, during the population explosion, we um, have to provide employment to the people and for these purposes we have to build the factories, we are building the houses and roads and because of these uh, purposes also we are clearing out the forest area, we are doing the deforestation. So and uh, the last one that is obtaining wood for making doors, windows and furniture. Mm, which is the main, which is also one of the main causes of the deforestation. We cut down the trees on a very large scale. We clear out the forest area in order to get the wood for making doors, for making windows, for making furniture, which we use in our houses, which we use in the factories, which we use in the industries, uh, which we are constructing. And the next one category, which is the natural causes of the deforestation, and that is the forest fires and the severe drought. These two are also the main causes for the deforest, natural causes of the deforestation. So I hope this, uh, the causes of the deforestation, both the man-made and the natural, that got clear to you. Coming to the next one, the consequences of the deforestation. Um, consequences, uh, like means, uh, when we go, when we do the deforestation, we face a certain uh, uh, consequences, we face certain things. Um, um, uh, in other words, we can say the disadvantages uh, what we face when we go for the deforestation. The first one consequence of the deforestation is that it will result in the shortage of the wood and the products which you get from the trees. Uh, dear students, we all know that, um, like I told you, we get uh, we make um, doors, furniture, windows from the um, wood we get from the trees, which we get from um, the foresters when we go uh, when we uh, clear out the very large area. But when um, the deforestation is done on a very large scale, uh, we all should know that we will face shortage of all these products. 
we will face shortage of the wood besides facing the shortage of the wood we will face the shortage of the materials of the substances which we get from the trees and which are very much important to us like some of the common examples i'll give you is gum is resin is wax and paper and the very important thing which we get from the trees and the second one consequence of the deforestation is it will result in the increase in the temperature of the earth's atmosphere leading to global warming uh, fine so uh, my dear students let me first tell you that we do have um, air is a mixture of the gases and carbon dioxide is one of the gas besides other gases which are present in the air and the function and the role of the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is this that it prevents some of the solar radiations to get reflected from back by the earth thereby warming up the temperature of the earth but uh, and on the other hand uh, we all know that carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is uh, present when we exhale it out by the process of the respiration and the carbon dioxide which is present in this atmosphere which is exhaled by us is used up by the green plants for the process of photosynthesis i hope that you all must be knowing that photosynthesis is the process by which the plants make their own food um fine so this carbon dioxide is taken by those plants but when we cut down the trees uh nobody is left no trees are left to take this carbon dioxide that means the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is increased and increase in the carbon dioxide concentration means it will trap more solar radiations thereby causing the greenhouse effect fine and greenhouse effect ultimately results in the global warming and what is the global warming that means increase in the overall temperature of the earth when the overall temperature of the earth increases or when the global warming happens but um, uh, what is the consequence of that that results in the melting of the polar ice thereby causing plants in the low lying coastal areas hope the second point is also clear to you coming to the next one which is it will result in the uh, soil erosion leading to the desertification dear students uh, like we all know that roots of the plant they hold its soil particles so firmly uh, holding the soil particles firmly means preventing the soil to get washed away by the wind and the water but unfortunately due to deforestation there are no trees no roots to hold that soil and by that when wind blows either that the top layer of the soil gets washed away or either by uh, when the rain falls this uh, top layer of the soil gets washed away fine and with that the lower rocky layer gets exposed exposure of that rocky layer which is not fit for the cultivation that process is called as desertification the washing away of the above um, fertile layer of the soil there by exposing the rocky layer which is not fit for the cultivation is called as desertification that process is called as desertification fine because uh why do we say the top layer of the soil is very much uh, fertile and it results in the and it also uh, helps in the um, uh, growing of the uh, crops because we all know the top layer of the soil uh, it is it is it, 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 fertile because it contains the minerals it contains a lot of humus humus content uh, fine so coming to the fourth one which is uh, will cause um, the deforestation will also result in the frequent flooding how the deforestation results in the frequent flooding is this uh since roots of the trees they help in absorbing the rain water when the rain falls it is absorbed by the trees by the roots which help it to percolate down and uh, uh, as the ground water they are reducing the amount of the rain water reaching to the rivers and when there are no trees left because of the deforestation the rain falls that whole of the water is returned to the rivers thereby increasing the level of water and leading to the floods and last but not least deforestation leads to the extinction of many wild animals and plants my dear students the, this point is the last point but not exactly the least because this is the very much very important consequence of the deforestation when we cut down the trees on a very large scale when we clear out the uh, large area of a uh, um, forest so what we do the natural the wild animals which are found naturally in these uh, 
natural forests they law on they loss their habitat and they come to the urban areas thereby falling prey in the hands of people thereby falling prey in the hands of man or either killing the people and due to this deforestation many wild plants which are very much important which are very much uh necessary um, uh, to maintain the ecological balance or for the or the medicinal plants they also get um lost um, and the um, birds which are found in these forests they do not get food because of the uh, deforestation they um, face the starvation and thereby become extinct uh fine uh, so this is all about the deforestation its causes and consequences hope um, uh, you all will get it properly Uh, many thanks